name's Jacob Polly, and I'm going to read uh, a couple of poems from the book Jack Self. Um, and this is a poem that kind of introduces the character. It's called Every Creeping Thing. By leech, by water mite, by the snail on its slick of light, by the mercury wires of the spider's lyres and the great sound hole of the night. By the wet socket of a levered stone, by a dog-lit ice cream cone, by spores, mildew, by the green achoo, by the yellow split pea and the bacon bone. All the doors must have their way, and every break of day its day. Instead of a soul, Jack Self has a coal and the high fireman to pay. By head lice powder, paraquat, snap dragon, snap and rat tat tat. Who's at the door of the door of the door? It's Jack Self in his toad skin hat. Jack Self's quality. Jack Self's quality can't be bought or stolen. Mudder hasn't bottled it. Muggins here hasn't brought it home in his briefcase. The farmer hasn't clipped its weighty foam from his blackest sheep. The hawk man, with a rag of meat in his leather glove, can't bring it stooping from the sky. Thomas Cat hasn't fetched it from the farmyard to lay still warm at Jack Self's feet. The dark continent, Jack Self peels from the flank of a Frisian cow, ties to his ankles and drags across the flatland at midday, doesn't prove his substance. The night is made of what he needs. He moonwalks in daylight, afraid like snow he'll wane or drift before he can hold the road out front, the fields behind, and the earth in the churchyard. So Jack Self crawls to the coal shed and eats.